amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, See. back to the center. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate UTV Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing word. Psalm 102, verses 13. Psalm 102. You who arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the said time has come. I want you to put your name there. Jesus, you arise and have mercy on Peace Chapel for the time to favor Peace Chapel has come. This is the time. So we want to read. We have done this before, but today we are going different dimension. So shall we begin? Ready, go. You arise and have mercy on Quabrandofo for the time to favor me. Yes, the said time has come. Can I hear amen? amen? If you know your time has come, shout a better amen. amen. By this scripture, I simply mean that God has a time to favor his people. And today is the day. Today is the set time that God is going to favor you. A better amen? amen. Those who think God has favored them today, their time cannot hear a believing amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When your time comes for God to favor you, two things happen. Number one, God rises up. You will rise up. God rises up. Number two, you receive mercy. Now, I look at the Bible, Psalm 68, 1 to 3. Psalm 68, 1 to 3. The Bible says, God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Anytime God rises, his enemies scattered. And who are God's enemies? God's enemies are God's children. God's enemies are God's children. Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 5. Acts 9, 1 to 5. Saul, who became Paul, began threatening the church. And Jesus said, you are threatening me. Who are God's enemies? God's enemies are God's children's enemies. So your enemy is God's enemy. So since your time has come, and God is ready, and God is about to arise, I decree over your head, may all your enemies fall in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, any time God rises, his enemies scatter. And God's enemies are your enemies. So I decree over your destiny. In case you are here and you know your enemies are going to fall down, shout a better amen. amen. Shout a better amen. amen. May God rise today in the name of Jesus. Today is the same time. Let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. I decree. Apostle Paul, who was Saul, he was threatening the church and God made him to become blind and you fall down. In the name of Jesus, if you can hear the sound of my voice, may your enemies scatter this morning. I said, may enemies scatter this morning. Wonderful. So now let's take the team for the morning. This morning, I want to speak on the team. What is favor? Because we have seen that, please, yes, that's our eyes and have mercy Upon Zion. That's fine, but I like the favor. The New King James, like, that, that's, that's good. You arise and have mercy on Peace Chapel for the time to favor her. 
has come. Yes, the third time has come. So then the question is, what is favor? Today the theme is, what is favor? We have had favor, favor, favor. I've, I've gotten some time and I've done some research and I've prayed. And uh, I want to give you definition of favor. You arise and have mercy, favor. For the time to favor her has come. You arise and have mercy on Zion. For the time to favor her, yes, the said time has come. What is favor? Favor is divine partiality against earthly acceptance. Favor is divine partiality against earthly acceptance. Divine partiality against earthly acceptance. What is favor? Favor is divine approval against earthly laws. Favor is divine approval against earthly laws. Divine approval against earthly laws. What is favor? Favor is acceptability. Favor is acceptability. Favor is acceptability. Watch this. There are earthly laws and there are some things that this world, they look at it and you accept it. I look at the Bible and I began to think about the man called Solomon. Listen, David had ten wives. How many wives? Oh, talk to how many wives? Ten wives. Were children. And then because of the last, he went for somebody's wife. I was even thinking, if you want her, take her. You are the king. Although it's evil. But you don't need to murder somebody's husband and took the wife. That's what David did. He murdered Uriah, took Uriah's wife, Bathsheba. And from Bathsheba, Solomon came. So if you want to check Solomon's background, by earthly laws, he's not anywhere nearer to kingship. Number two, in Israel, after the father, the firstborn, after Abraham, Isaac, after Isaac, supposed to be Esau, but he sold his birthright. So after David, Adonijah, and many people, David had like 25 children. Solomon was number 29. But because favor is divine approval against earthly laws. But because favor is divine partiality against earthly acceptance, God took Solomon from the back seat. Adulterous mom's son. When it comes to siblings, number 29. Kingship was far from him. But what are you talking about? Favor. What is favor? Favor is divine approval against earthly laws. So any law that was against Solomon, because God favored him, God broke him to the front. In the name of Jesus. I don't know whom I'm talking to. Any earthly laws against you, because favor is in the house, it is broken now. It is broken now. Somebody shout favor. Somebody shout favor. Take your seat. Solomon became a king because of favor. What is favor? Favor means divine assistance. Favor means divine assistance. Favor means divine backing. Divine backing. Divine assistance. Divine backing. Favor is in contact with uncommon grace. Favor is in contact with uncommon grace. Favor is when God grants you goodwill. Favor is divine assistance. Favor is divine backing. Favor is in contact with uncommon grace. Favor is when God grants you goodwill. And favor is the platform for advancing the life of a man. Let's begin to consider this man called Jacob. Romans chapter 9. Verses 12 to 16. Romans 9, 12 to 16. Romans 9, 12 to 16. Before... Jacob's mother gave birth to him and his twin brother Esau. 
God had already assisted him. God had already given him his backing. God had given him a platform for him to maneuver. So God said, the senior will bow down to the junior. I love Jacob and I, I hate Esau. Why? Because favor was in control. Because favor is the platform for advancing life of a man. Favor is in contact with uncommon grace. And favor is having divine backing and having divine assistance. May God favor you. I say may God favor you. Somebody shout favor. Somebody shout favor. Somebody shout favor. Ni akasa nya me honi bo wa ase ya de say. Ase ya de say oni pa no. Enya obre bebre e na obre. Ade ketiketiki no oyo. Na ni beba no so no. Na di nyina ye ye. O tonsio mpo a nya me mo bro hunu nti. No wa ye milonia. O ware obi a woni bie. Na fe a chede keke. O pa de bi a wa bra 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 ni zanka. Mo bro hunu mbre so a. Na obi aboa no. Sana wa de be ye o. Mr. Sana, what about you? So, on your memory, so so, when you part, you are say, Oh, honey, mobo. I see, I say, God has compassion for you, He has mercy for you. Oh, at oh, Timama, oh, you know, when you put a bar, oh, how by any how. Now, the oil, I say, and I'm so homo bonti, or sorry, you know, now sorry, you know, I can't want, no, I shall be on my own tone. So, if you are for now, sir, no, a pure will be, and then you're more bonti. In the name of Jesus. And when I do say, I'm going to 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 say, I'm say, life is war. Life is what? War. I'm going to say, Oh, my men, you are not supposed to wear over the highway. But then you know, you hear more. I'm telling you, I don't need to follow the fear of you, my son. You know, I'm a friend, I'm called for me, and I'm not going to call me in here. I'm not going to call me. Who said, I'm a wicked bar? Oh, who I deal with you? Who are what I will be? Baby, I will be. And Sabi, I'll come on. Yes, you do my own. I tell it. Se obi ni saka mo juma obi ni saka mo yire obi ni wudi asia yesu di mu i overturn it listen the way i see life why we are here the oldest maybe nigeria i saw somebody 134 uh, the last time i checked voter is somebody was there like 114 we have small life to live oh so if you struggle and struggle and struggle no life is not about struggling Life is not standing one side every day, every time. You need a platform for you to soar like eagle. I decree over your head. Listen, there's something you don't understand. Jacob, there are people who have not come here. When it comes to favor, it's not what we have done. It's what God wants to do. Maybe over here you are uneducated. People say you are even ugly, but I have never seen any ugly person. They look at you, they say you are not handsome, you are not beautiful. They look at it and say, you, you can't make it. But today, by oracle of God, with my eyes open, I decree, may God favor your life. I say, may God favor your life. Favor is having connection with uncommon grace. Contact with uncommon grace. Jacob has not come here. But favor was talking for him. Favor was speaking for him. So the least became the greatest. And as I talked to you today, we don't have any Esau descendants. God wiped them all. But Jacob's descendants are still there. In the name of Jesus, you shall live long. You shall live long. And God will favor you. It doesn't matter those ahead of you. All those ahead of you, they are just walking. But you are going to be a high flyer. You are going to be a high flyer. Receive the name of Jesus. Someone shall favor. Take your seat. What is favor? Favor is a canopy that compel good things to happen to you. Oh. A canopy that compel good things to happen to you. What does it mean? 
It simply means that when you are under favor, God has mandated every good thing to come to you. God has compelled them. Onyamia se ade papa se emre obi asa ase so onyamia se ku pase wa sa yire pase wa sa aware pase wa sa djuma pase emre obi abrabom favor is when god compel good things to come to you and in the name of jesus i agree with god and this favor is for somebody may god compel good things to come to you somebody shout out here those who shout out here i'm talking to you can i hear amen Take your seat. But listen, take this one serious. What is favor? Favor is divine perfume. That when it is on you, no odor can quench it. What is favor? Favor is divine perfume. That when it is spread on you, no odor can quench it. Somebody shout fire. Listen, favor is a perfume. And when it is spread on you, no other, nothing smelling can quench it. Don't forget, Esther was sprayed by that favor. There was a favor that was sprayed on Esther. Although, by naturally, by appearance, she didn't wear anything beautiful. But there was an odor, divine perfume, divine odor. And because of the perfume around her, she was smelling good. From today, receive divine perfume. As I rest my hand over your head, whatever you are, receive divine spray. Receive divine perfume. Receive divine perfume. Somebody say, Jesus. Okay, rest up. Say, my father. Say, my father. Oh, man. Say, my heavenly father. I need divine perfume. Can I hear amen? Oh, I'm in phone. Can I hear amen? amen? What is favor? Favor is divine perfume. When it's spray on you, no odor can quench it. Whatever you are, in the name of Jesus, receive this perfume. Receive this perfume. The devil will try and try and try, but he can never attach you because there is something aroma that incense that something special divine perfume divine perfume divine perfume someone said i take it someone said i receive it someone said i receive it someone said i receive it take your seat wow favor i i tell you i have definitions but this one i'm like jesus do we have that one yes divine perfume when the spray around you and you are a wife your husband doesn't have any choice than to love you madly everywhere you go hello hello Ajua. favor <laughs> is when God gives you a sense of kindness when God gives a man a sense of kindness favor is Intensity of grace. Favor is intensity of grace. Favor causes the face of a man to shine. I decree, wherever you go, may your face shine. 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 Your face shine. Nobody can intimidate you. Somebody shout favor. What is favor? Favor gives a human being a divine life rating. A divine life rating. So be rated higher and higher. Manos your effort. Favor gives you a divine life rating. Favor is the key. That takes away limitation from your life. Favor is the key. That takes away limitation from your life. Favor is the ladder for divine lifting. Favor is the ladder for divine lifting. What is favor? Favor is the proof of God's visitation upon a man and a woman's life. Favor is a divine proof of God's visitation upon a man or a woman in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. amen. Somebody shout favor. Amen. Somebody shout favor. Amen. Come to me. 
Now I'm doing all this for you. I want you to know that, hey, if there's any perfume you need, if you need any rating, ranking, it's over. They have uh, the richest man, first rank, second ranking. When it comes to boxing, what they, many, many, at a, at a matter, they have everything in rankings. But when you have favor, it's a ladder for life rank, ranking and divine visitation. Now, do you know Luke chapter 1 verse 30? When you read Luke one thirty from the verse 26, Mary was favored. Luke one twenty six to 30, but uh, give me the Luke one thirty. Mary was favored, and don't deceive yourself. Luke one thirty. Then the angel said to her, shall we read together, ready, go. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, what has happened? For you have found favor with God. Divine ranking, divine rating, intensive grace, divine perfume has come over Mary. There were many, many, many virgins. Because in Israel, it was a taboo for you to marry. Not as a virgin. They will stone you to death. So there were many virgins. But Mary became the mother of Jesus. Not because of her virginity. But because she was favored. Wherever you are. May God favor you. Amen. I say may God favor you. Amen. Give me a believing amen. amen. Give me Amy like a tender. Amen. Somebody said favor. favor. Say my father. Say my heavenly father. As you gave Mary favor, it is my turn. Today is my turn. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, favor me. Today, it is done. Can I hear amen? What is favor? Favor is divine shovel that God uses to deliver you from evil. There's a shovel, shovel, the masons. Eh? Shovel, shovel. Divine shovel that God uses to deliver you from temptations. God has in his hand a shovel. He uses to deliver his people from any evil. And you can see that one from Genesis 37, 20. Genesis 37, 20. Genesis 39, 21. 39, 21. I think I have done much for you. Let me give you last one. Favor. I have plenty, but let's keep on. Favor is a commander of respect. He gives you divine advertisement. Commander. <laughs> Favor is a commander of respect. He gives you divine advertisement. So on your people know you without you announcing yourself. All you need is favor. He gives you respect and then divine advertisement. May God advertise you. May God advertise you. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is favor. The question is how can I connect to favor? Because at least if you have forgotten anything, favor is divine perfume. When it is spread on you, no odor can quench it. Favor is uh, grace, intensity. It's a platform for divine advertisement. Then the question is, how can I contact favor? So favor doesn't come on silver platter. Jesus had stakeholders mentality. And because of this, verse 52 was the resource. So this morning, we have done a series of definitions. For you to attract favor, you must have stakeholders mentality. What does it mean? A stakeholder simply means that I am a co-owner of this company. Let's say somebody has opened a company and then his children has come. When the children join any father's company, they don't join as employee. They join as stakeholders. They see the, the, the company as their company. Don't forget, God has a business. God's business on earth is the church. And this business and the profit is salvation of souls. It's not a place of making money. No. So Peace Chapel is God's business. And over here, the prophet said, when you are liberated, when you are saved, Jesus said, I will do my father's business at the age of 12. He was a co-owner 
of his father's business. So my friends, because of what Jesus said, they look at it, and Jesus increased in wisdom. Why? And stature and in favor with God. The verse 49, he had stakeholder mentality. Look at what ended him. So this morning, favor, at least one thing that for me, it is ringing in my spirit, divine perfume. That when it is spread on me, nothing can quench it. If you want that kind of perfume, your mentality might be stakeholders mentality. What does it mean? Every church you see in this world, every Christian church belongs to God. It is God's business. So you must be a stakeholder. You must own the church. You see yourself, this is our church. Is, this, is it not our church? Is it not our church? You see, most cases, people say, oh, don't mind. That's their business. Listen, from today, never say that one. The church is not body's business. It is God's business. And most cases, oh, Bishop Adolfo, no, 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 no. That, you are wrong. You are dragging your feet because of that mentality. Take it out. The church is God's business. At the age of 12, Jesus saw. So Jesus had stakeholder mentality. From today, see that your church as your church. A stakeholder, anything that goes on the business, it affects him. Either profit or loss. In this context, the profit is servicing of souls. So I want to suggest to you, don't see Peace Chapel as somebody's business. Don't forget, it's Jesus' business. Jesus, at 12 years, saw that one. And he ended up growing in favor. Listen, if Jesus grew in favor, then you need favor. Don't forget, favor is in levels. What did I say? Favor is in levels. But Jesus grew in favor because he had stakeholders mentality. So from today, I want to urge you, don't see the church as somebody's property. It's Jesus' business. But this work that we are doing, the profit is when people are saved. The loss is when people don't come to church. When people are going through problems, it simply means that we are not making profit. It's not about money. So I want you to have this stakeholder mentality. Now, if somebody is stakeholder in the church, what would be his reaction? If somebody is stakeholder in the church, that person is extremely committed. He's emerged, he's integrated into the church. He's emerged in the church, he's integrated in the church. He's committed in the church. No excuses because he sees this is my father's work. Moon Tim Tim, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Moon Tim Tim, Moon Him Him. Paul Corinthians. Elders, as of mommy, pastors, dicky, shepherds, officers, church members, Peter Pofu, Mutin Tim, Muhim, like I said, Ubet me him, a dear cranny. Now, nah, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Men, come on. But when you him. Move him. What's up for some of you? You're welcome to say, 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 you're welcome now opportunities are so much soon. If you say, mm, and I will say, oh. Can I hear amen? Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, 
you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Nyamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing web.